Hey, welcome back to episode number two for Song Production for Guitars. I'm your host, Corey Congilio. We're doing a nice dive into Luna, the recording system from Universal Audio. And in the first episode, you saw me import some tracks. Uh, we did some level adjustments and a couple other things, just kind of getting our feet wet. But today, we actually want to do some honest to goodness guitar tracking with an electric guitar, Universal Audio's amplifier plugins. I'll explain Unison technology a little bit that is uh, proprietary to UA. It is really, really a tremendous thing that you can just plug your guitar into a piece of hardware like this and get a real amplifier sound in your computer. Really, really cool. We're going to do a nice deep dive, create a couple tracks. I'll show you my workflow and then, um, you know, we'll hear what it sounds like. Hopefully you like it. Okay, so if we take a look at our track, let me point a couple things out real quick. What I've done is I've added some markers here to the sections uh, of the song. You can see here that it says count, intro, verse, etc., etc. When you click on one of those, it'll take you over to, here's the name of it in my left-hand corner. I can pick any color I want. And that's nice to kind of, you know, let us know where we're at in the song and that we can kind of make overdubs, you know, accordingly when necessary. We don't get lost. Because the WAV files, they can be a little tricky to look at if you're new to this kind of thing. You know, it's like, wow, there's what, what the heck am I looking at here? Where am I in the song? This is a good way to kind of point that out for you. So if you remember in the first video, I brought in drums, bass, keys, and acoustic guitar. The keys are the B3 in this instance. Uh, I wasn't crazy about the acoustic guitar part, and I might redo that. So what I thought I would do is just mute it, because when instruments are playing, they can actually really affect uh, what we're going to play. They can influence us in a certain way, and I, I didn't want that to happen with that track. So I just muted it for now, and we'll probably add a new one in another video. But what we do want to do is add some really nice sounding electric guitar parts. And when I'm playing this modern country kind of stuff, I like to add what I call the wallpaper parts. You know, these are the electric guitar parts that are really gonna glue the track together. They might not stand out a whole lot, but they're really, really important from a foundation standpoint. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and hit track, follow my mouse. It says new tracks. And you'll see this drop down window here prompts us to choose what type of track. And we do want an audio track. There are other choices, but for us, we just want audio for right now. We're going to pick one. We just want one track right now. It's going to be mono because we're just using our guitar, one cable going into input number one. And that's all we need. But we're going to call it elect left. That's what I like to track or title these as. When I hit record, this is really important. I need to hit record first. And you'll see some things change here under unison and record effects. I also want to choose which one of my many inputs I'm going to be sending this guitar into. So your recording face has a number of different um, inputs and outputs. And we're going to go into mic line high Z1 right there. Okay. Then we're going to go down to unison right here. Now unison is really important and it's uh, is special to Universal Audio because it is a, a technology they designed that you can drop in a digital recreation of an amplifier, a uh, bass amp, uh, a recording console emulation, and it's going to give you all the warmth and natural sound that those devices would normally give you. And in our case, for a guitar amp, it's going to feel great and sound great. Um, I think you'd be shocked to uh, really know how many people are using these on some of your favorite records. It's a lot of fun. So we go into unison and we need to have record armed to get into unison. Okay, and unison is where you're going to choose an amplifier. We're going to pick an amplifier plugin to put in that. Now, real quickly, a plugin is a digital recreation of one of those things I've talked about. And in this case, it's going to be a guitar amplifier. But recording engineers will use plugins to um, add reverb, delay, EQ, compression, uh, anything you can think of it's been created digitally in the box, as we say, and it's going to live here. Okay, that's what a plugin is. And in the Unison technology instance, it's going to be ones that we can actually play live with and record directly to. Okay, you're going to see how it works. So we pick Unison. Over here, you see this flashing cursor. I'm going to type in Marshall. And I'm going to choose Marshall Plexi Classic because that's a plugin that Universal Audio gives you for free when you buy one of their uh, one of their products, one of their interfaces. You can hear already; it's a nice, <laughs> crunchy guitar, right? So what I did, and you can see here, it looks just like what you'd expect from a Plexi, beat up knobs and everything. If you follow my mouse, I'm going to go over to Presets, and if we look here, there should be up oh, says User. TF Country Track, that was one I created. We're going to click that, 
and it's going to change it a little bit. If you look over here where my mouse is, I even jump the channels just like I did with my old Marshall back there. So it's pretty cool. You have the ability to do a number of different things with, uh, with these amplifier plugins. But you'll notice, although it sounds good, it's a dry guitar track. So we want to add some reverb, and we're going to do that here in record effects. So I'm going to hit that, and it's going to give us, again, this drop-down window of any of our Universal Audio plugins we want to use. And there's a plate reverb I love called Pure Plate. Now, if any of this stuff is kind of over your head, don't worry about it. What we're doing is we're trying to use internal effects to create uh, a really great guitar sound with the effects and plugins that Universal Audio provides. And Universal Audio is synonymous with capturing the sounds of these things like no one else can. Okay? So we chose this thing, and what the heck is this, right? Well, it's simulating uh, an old plate reverb from many, many years ago. And when you first plug it in, it's going to be way too much reverb. So you want to take this wet solo knob and turn it to off. Still kind of a lot of reverb. Let's bring the mix knob down. Sounds a little better. I actually created a preset here. And this was probably pretty similar to what we had already. So that's going to give us some nice room sound. You know, that, that sounds like a really nice guitar part. And you notice, even though it's a Marshall, I don't have it super, like... Uh, when you're playing this kind of stuff, you want sort of just enough grit and sustain to ring out and, and sustain through the track. Now... What we're going to do is I'm going to click count. That's going to give us started at the count in. Now I'm ready to record. I can literally start and hit record on this. I like to use the uh, the keyboard number three on a number pad. That's a good little shortcut for us there. Um, so let's take a look real quickly at the lead sheet here. We have our intro, D, D, G, G. Then it happens again. Then the verse, same thing. Then we're going to do a pre-chorus. And I'm going to make a little bit of a change here, and we can do that because these tracks are ours to work with. Where it says F sharp minor, I'm actually going to play what's called a D slash F sharp. And I can do that because when you get the tracks free or you buy them or do whatever you want, you can do whatever you want with them. I just thought it sounded cooler and a little bit more uh, like what I would imagine a pop country sound uh, to be like. All right, so... Have a, have a handle on the, the chart. I know what chords I'm going to play. We're going to try to track up to verse 2. All right, let's give it a whirl. See what happens. Two, All right, so that should give you a pretty good idea of what we're working with here. We really just want to talk about production and how uh, how I might approach getting tones, okay? So one thing I want to do now is I'm going to turn record off, follow my mouse. I'm going to go back to the mixer window. You don't have to, but here's that electric left part. We're going to turn that all the way to the left side with the pan control right there. We'll go back to our window. 
Now I want to do another part, so we're going to pause right here, and then we're going to add another guitar part. Uh, it's going to be very similar, different tone, even different guitar, some other fun stuff going on. All right, so let's add another track to this tune. We're going to dial up a similar tone, but you're going to hear how just changing our guitar and the capo position, those are two really, really great options and approaches that you can do uh, when you're tracking this kind of song, be it like a modern rock or a pop country type song. Um, I try to, I'm kind of pushing this tune a little bit more in the Americana realm with the tones and the style. You'll see how that works. But what we want to do, again, is create another track. We want to get a fresh track. We can go to the track menu here, pick new track, or my favorite thing, which is Shift, Command, N on a Mac. And we'll just... Again, we want an audio track. We want to call this Alec, if I can spell it right, R, because this is going to be our right side guitar. And it pops up down here, and you can see it's highlighted. And there's our channel strip. Remember, we want to hit record and then engage a unison plug-in here. But we want to make sure that we're on mic line one, because that's where our guitar is plugged into on our Apollo. So we'll go to unison and I'm going to choose an amplifier that you have to purchase and add on, um, but this is pretty common in the recording world. You know, plugins can become an addiction. They're so fun. Uh, they're they're generally pretty inexpensive for what you get, kind of like a guitar course. <laughs> uh, we want to use a Friedman Buxom Betty. This is a cool amplifier. I really, really dig this one. Um, I love that the the lengths that the companies go to really get the graphics the same as well. I dialed up a preset. It's called CCTF Tracks Bucks, and I double click that, ready to go. You can see a, a couple of things that um, you want to think about when you're recording guitars. You don't need a lot of bass. I turned the bass down completely on this amp, and it still has plenty of tone. You can hear the telly. All the notes are nice and crisp and held together. I got the mids cranked up, and I got enough kind of hair on the amp to sound good. Now, it's dry just like the uh, the Marshall was originally. So we'll go back into record effects. We'll grab our plate reverb that we liked. I'm gonna find my preset. I double clicked it. It's ready to go aside from, remember this wet solo knob is very, very, or switch is very important. When you're putting reverb directly on your channel, you wanna make sure that that is off so that you can use the wet dry knob. Now a wet dry knob basically means Less reverb, more reverb, okay? We don't want to dive too deep and go down a rabbit hole with that kind of stuff. We just want to play some music and have some fun. So we're going to go to the count in here. You can see when I zoom in, it says count. It's not a character on Sesame Street. Actually, it is one of my favorites. Um, and we're just going to put there, and we're going to start, and we're going to see what it adds. Now, notice here that my faders, they, come, they start out pretty high. I'm going to pull this one back, try to match it a smidge. We look at elect left and that's pan to the left so we'll be hearing that in our left side uh, let's just give it a shot see what happens we're going to play through like i said first the first turn around and then we'll stop at verse two here we go two, one,
All right, hair in my face and everything. You know, these are the things you got to play through when you're on a session for sure. So what you'll notice is that there's probably a little bit of a lower output with this. It's a little more jangly. And those little single line things that I came up with uh, fit nicely on this guitar. So let's play it back. We'll take it out of record mode. We'll take our pan control and put this all the way to the right side. Let's have a listen. Now, before we... Well, before we do that, we can jump to the mixer here in a moment, but let's just make sure we're playing, everything's okay. Should sound good. Oh, yeah. Nice. So I think the tones are good, and I think my approach is pretty pretty right on for what we're doing here. Um, I think maybe what I would do is really pay attention to when what chord is arpeggiating. I would probably go back and make some adjustments, maybe play the track again. But we got sound. We got a great tone. Uh, these, these amp plugins are really, really special. They sound great. They're inspiring. It feels like I'm playing through an amplifier. Uh, and you got to get used to recording. You got to get used to what a, a guitar sound coming through headphones or a small speaker really is because in the room it feels big and loud when you're playing with your, your, your normal amplifier. But recording is a whole other thing. Um, but I think as we continue to play, uh, what I like to do with my parts is I look down the road and I know that other parts are going to be coming into play here it's going to work. I can feel it. And then we're going to add an acoustic part. We're going to add some more electric stuff. And then we're going to bounce this down and I'll show you how to do that so you can share it with your friends, put it on your phone, play it in your car, and just revel in the fact that you actually got some cool tones and some great parts down. All right, I'm Corey Congilio. This is episode number two of Song Production for Guitars with Luna, the recording system from Universal Audio. I'll see you on the next episode.